Hi loves, today I'm going to do a review on Rimmel's new Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip color and I purchased it in the color 550 play with fire because you guys know I love my reds and I got it from Walmart for about $7.98 which I think is a pretty good deal for a drugstore lipstick like this and on the Rimmel site here there's 10 available shades in this lippy and it says up to 16 hours of lip liberation wild without a trace kiss proof transfer proof tr trouble proof high impact endless color no tight feeling or dry lips lips feel smooth and moisturized all day long easy removal with oil based makeup remover and basically there's two steps it's dual ended step one you apply the color and keep lips apart for 60 seconds until the product sets so do not pucker up when you're waiting for the product to set step two apply the top coat to lock the color in and add moisture so and packaging shine first this is what the Rimmel Provocalypse look like it comes in a dual ended stick like this and such an adorable lip print all over the cap there on the lip balm side and it's just very very simple easy to use you just twist off each end and then you just take out the product and inside I'll show you guys what the applicator looks like here this is what the applicator of the lip color looks like and when you take it out definitely be careful because the formula of this is on the runnier side it's kind of more liquidy and that's what that looks like it's a doe foot applicator brush like that and then on the lip balm side it's the same thing it's a doe foot applicator as well and usually the lip balms I'm not very used to like this kind of liquidy I guess uh, paint on kind of lip balm I'm used to like the solid stick lip balm so this was a little bit of a surprise to me and it's kind of mucky and gross because I've been using this and it got like color all over it so don't mind the dirtiness of that but the lip balm is more of a thicker consistency in lip balm and let's see and it has kind of like the sweet not too sure what kind of scent it is but it's a little bit sweet smelling and the lip color here has not much of a smell but the lip balm definitely has like a sweet scent smell to it and it tastes a little so bit so if you guys want to see well. how i applied this lip color then definitely so please i do have lip watching. balm on right now but i'm gonna go ahead and apply this rimmel provocalypse lip color on right now And you just have to be very careful because it is a little bit on the runny side of formulas. So just take your time. So it has been a minute now and the lip color feels nice and moisturized. It's not too sticky. And I'm going to apply the lip balm on right now which comes in this form right here. The applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And sometimes I need to dip back in because the applicator doesn't take out enough lip balm. So here's what my lipstick looks like on with the lip balm. It feels very nice and hydrated and moisturized and the color is super smooth and pigmented. So and as I you can see in the it. demo, it was very easy to use this lip color. It applied very nicely, very evenly, but you just have to be careful because the formula is a little bit on the runny side, so just take your time, especially if you're wearing such a vibrant color like I am. But I love how pigmented this lippy is and it's just has a nice vibrant punch of color and after I apply the lip balm my lips feel nice and hydrated and moisturized so I absolutely love it and this lipstick did not transfer all day long when I drank um, from the cup I did not see any redness and when my husband kissed me I didn't see any red lipstick on him so it did not transfer at all all day long and it just feels nice and hydrated and moisturized and I didn't have to apply the lip balm constantly I probably only applied the lip balm every I would say I guess after I eat or something because the lip balm would you know uh, get off and but even though the lip balm wore off the lip color itself still left my lips very nice and hydrated and moisturized it didn't feel dry or uncomfortable at all so i love that and um basically after i ate i usually eat like chinese food so it's a little bit greasy and everything this did not 
budged like it did it didn't like flake off or anything so I absolutely love that but I did notice that it did fade a little bit so I did reapply it once during the day just to add a little bit more um, punch of color and vibrancy back and then I just reapplied the lip balm and it lasted me throughout the entire day so I absolutely love that but basically I just reapplied once just to add more vibrancy it wasn't like the lip color like cracked off or anything it was still intact and there so this is definitely a long lasting lip color and by the end of the day I still had it on my lips it still feel felt nice and comfortable and moisturized so it definitely kept my lips very hydrated and at nighttime you definitely need a oil based makeup remover to remove this it just removes nice and smoothly and good so definitely keep that in mind but overall I did really enjoy this new Rimmel Provocalypse lip color I definitely probably would pick up some more colors because I did really enjoy it it just left my lips just nice and comfortable and moisturized and it did leave a very beautiful beautiful color on it so i'm excited to try their other colors in their range because um i do think this is a really good long lasting very very good lip color to have so i hope you guys enjoyed my quick review and i'll talk to you guys on my next video